Okay, now you may be wondering how easy or how difficult is it to switch from an iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy phone which is basically an Android phone. So I thought I'll make a quick video and show you guys how we can transfer all the data including the WhatsApp data from an iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy phone in a few simple steps. Now this is the Galaxy S25 Ultra which I've just bought. This is a brand new phone and this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max that we have here. Now I will show you how you can transfer all the data from this phone, the iPhone, to Samsung Galaxy phone. The first thing you need to do is go to your app store and search for Samsung Smart Switch mobile application. And on Samsung Galaxy phone, this application will be available by default. Just search for Smart Switch and open it up. Uh, this is the first time I'm opening up here on the Galaxy phone. So let me tap on continue. I will give access to all the data. And this is the page you're gonna see. And when you open the application on your iPhone, it will ask you multiple permissions. Make sure you give the access to all the data that you have on your phone and tap on let's go. Now you will see the similar page here on the iPhone as well. It says use a compatible lightning to USB-C or USB-C to USB-C cable or an adapter to bring your data. Now since we have to receive the data from iPhone to Samsung Galaxy phone, let me tap on receive on this phone and here it will ask you whether you want to receive the data from Android phone or an iPhone. I will tap on iPhone here. Again here it says use a compatible lightning to USB-C USB-C or USB-C to USB-C cable or an adapter to bring your data. And at the bottom, you can also see we've got an option transfer wirelessly. We will be able to transfer the data wirelessly as well. But I don't suggest you that. If you have a cable, just use it because this is going to take a lot of time. Now here, you can also see we have an option get data from iCloud, which means we will be able to download the data from iCloud as well on the Galaxy phone, which is fantastic. Now I will bring in the uh, lightning cable that I have. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I got the uh, lightning to USB type C. So what I'll do is I will connect the USB type C cable on Samsung Galaxy phone and connect the other end of the cable, the lightning side of the cable to the iPhone here. Now it's connected. The moment you connect it, this is the screen you're gonna see. It is asking you to trust this computer. I will just tap on trust and you will have to key in your password. And here on the Galaxy phone, just tap on next. And this device will search all the data which is available on your iPhone and show you which data you want to transfer. Now you can see we have got calls and contacts, messages, applications, data from iPhone applications, also you'll be able to transfer. And then we have got settings, home screen, images, videos, audio, and documents. All that can be transferred right here on this application. Now here, of course, you can customize it. If you don't want contacts, you can just remove it. Or if you don't want applications, you can just uncheck it. Uh, likewise, you can select the data that you want. Now, if you tap on applications, you will not be able to select the apps here. It will only transfer the Android versions of your iOS applications. Those will be downloaded and you will get recommended applications when there is no exact match. So you should know that all the applications may not be transferred. All the compatible applications will be transferred to Samsung Galaxy phone. However, all the rest of the data like your contacts, your images, videos, audio and documents, which can be easily transferred. Now I'll just go ahead and tap on transfer. So it is checking for the matching applications. Here we go. We also have WhatsApp Messenger, which can be transferred from an iPhone to your Samsung Samsung Galaxy phone and rest of the applications which are matching are available right here. All your Google applications, Instagram, Messenger, Microsoft applications, and uh, your wallpaper apps or any other apps, even threads, your third party applications, your uh, delivery apps and everything is available right here. Almost 58 applications have been selected. I can just tap on install to install all these apps. Now what I'll do is I will skip WhatsApp Messenger for now because I'm gonna show you how exactly you can transfer WhatsApp. Some of you may want to know the process of transferring WhatsApp data from iPhone to a Galaxy phone. So let's do this later. But if you wanna do it simultaneously, you can do that as well. Now what I'll do is I will tap on install. Now here it says backing up iPhone data, calculating remaining time. If you want to keep the screen on, you can just tap on screen on, keep the screen on here. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, now it's showing 41 minutes left. Since I have good amount of data on the iPhone, it will take some time to transfer this. So let's wait for it. Once this is done, I will show you how you can transfer WhatsApp data as well. All right, 97.5% done one minute remaining and it took almost about 45 minutes for this data transfer. Now let's just wait for a minute here. All right, it says all done. To get the most out of your new Galaxy, check out the tips on your new phone, it says. I can just close it over here. Now here, 
it says organizing your transferred data you can now disconnect the usb cable so you'll have to wait until the entire data set gets organized on your new phone i will tap on go to home screen i will just remove the cable now okay now the data has been transferred from the iphone to the galaxy s25 ultra now let me tell you what all has been transferred the first thing you will notice is the home screen wallpaper that is the same that you're seeing on the iphone here and if you look at the lock screen wallpaper that has also been transferred it's the same wallpaper that you see on the s25 ultra now and you can also now notice all the widgets that was available on the home screen are gone and all those applications which were available on the home screen here on the iphone are now available on the galaxy s25 ultra as you can see all those apps are right here and some of the apps are also available in the app tray over here so all the applications have been transferred and the best part is even the notes from the iphone has been transferred to this phone now and all those contents are available on samsung notes application now let me open samsung notes here now you can see all the data which are available here the videos you can see the videos right here uh, other and pan it says other and pan notes related to bank wallpaper emails resales etc so all the data from the iphone's notes app has also been uh, transferred and they are available on samsung notes which is pretty cool and if i go to the gallery now you see all the photos from the gallery has also been transferred to the uh, samsung galaxy s25 ultra and probably a few more settings maybe clock alarms etc might have also been transferred let me go ahead and check it later and then we've got voice recorder if i go to the voice recorder voice memos here on iphone all the recordings are available right here on the samsung galaxy phone that is pretty cool likewise there will be few other settings and data have been transferred from iphone to the galaxy s25 ultra now this is just fantastic this is how we transfer the data from iphone to an android phone or let's say samsung galaxy phone just one application the smart switch is going to enable us to do this very quickly but yeah the transfer time depends on the amount of data that you're transferring but when it comes to the whole process it is very very seamless now so if you're already switching from iphone to samsung galaxy phones do not worry about transferring your data you can even transfer the whatsapp data which we'll take a look at now all right now let's check out how to transfer whatsapp data from an iphone to samsung galaxy phone now this is the s25 ultra i have here this is iphone 14 pro max all we need is smart switch application open smart switch on your samsung galaxy phone and you can do the same on the iphone as well download it if you don't have it uh, you can download it from app store once you open it tap on let's go here and here tap on receive on this phone now again here you can select galaxy or android phone iphone i'll select iphone here now we can transfer the data wirelessly or we can connect a cable to transfer the data so what i'll do is i will connect the uh, lightning cable that i have the usb type c will go to this end and at the other end of the cable uh, the lightning end of the cable we will have to connect it to the iphone if you have an iphone which supports a uh, type c cable you can use the same cable you can use the type c on both the ends now uh, it says we've got some update here for smart switch i will just skip that now it is searching for the data to transfer here it's scanning and now it will give you a list of all the data that you want to transfer now i have already transferred all the data from this iphone to samsung galaxy phone so what i'll do is i'll only choose whatsapp now for that all i need to do is just deselect and tap on applications and tap on transfer here we go we have got the entire list of applications now what i'll do is i will deselect all of them and i'll only select whatsapp if you want to transfer all the other data you can do that as well which we have already seen in this video now what i'll do is i will tap on install it says scan the qr code with your iphone to open whatsapp then tap start so let's go back here now what i'll do is i will just scan this qr code using iphone's camera it says open in whatsapp right here i'll tap on that and whatsapp app directly uh, gets opened and now you can move chats to android it says transfer your chat history and media to your new android phone all i need to do is just tap on start it's getting the chats ready and it says keep your phone unlocked and this app open and before doing this you can also make sure that you have uh, backed up all the chats on whatsapp application to your icloud once you do that you can start this process uh, it's asking me the pin let me enter the pin here it says continue on your new phone and here it says calculating remaining time so again this is going to take some time I will come back to you guys in a bit. Here we go. It is showing the data transfer results. One item, 6.29 GB. One app copied. Let me tap on this. It is WhatsApp. And uh, it says recommendations for iPhone applications. Uh, you can just skip that. Tap on next. Now here there is something important. It says if you don't turn off iMessage on the Apple website, not all text messages will be delivered to your new phone. I think this has got something to do with the messaging application. Let me just tap on next here. And now it is asking me to get the iCloud data as well. You can just tap on import to import all the iCloud data. 
If you don't want to do it with the same process, you can always do it later. You can use Smart Switch application. You will get that notification at the bottom to uh, get all your data from iCloud. Just tap on that and get your data. Now let me tap on import. Let's see what it says. Here we will have to log into iCloud. Once we log in, it will give you the prompts and you will be able to import all the data from iCloud as well. So you'll have to just follow the prompts and it's the same process again. Now let me tap on done. Now I'll remove the cable and I will switch over to this phone. I will put the SIM onto this phone now. Now, let me go ahead and open WhatsApp. Let's continue this. Agree and continue. Allow notifications. I have entered my number. Is this correct number? Yes. Now you see here, we have got a notification on the iPhone. Let me just open this up. We have got a code here. It is saying use your other phone to confirm moving WhatsApp to this one. Open WhatsApp on your iPhone 14 Pro Max to get the six digit code. So the code will arrive on your iPhone. Now you enter the code right here. It's verifying. Now we should be having all the data right here on this phone. Now it says importing chat history. I will tap on start. Now it will load all the chat history that you had on your iPhone. Okay, now it is imported. Let's check out whether we have got all the data or not. I will type my name here. WhatsApp is initializing. Here we go. We have got all the chats imported from iPhone onto the Galaxy S25 Ultra. And this is how we transfer WhatsApp from the iPhone to the Galaxy phone. That's about it. If you find this video useful, do hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel you get to learn a lot about your devices so go ahead subscribe and become a part of apex community and we have also launched a brand new wallpaper application called wallverse recently if you haven't downloaded it yet go ahead download it the link is in the description there are some amazing wallpapers on the application i am pretty sure you're going to love it go ahead check that out thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye